This is Optimal Living Daily, episode 82, Why I Work Out, by Steve Cam of nerdfitness.com. Get ready to maximize your potential with Optimal Living Daily, the podcast that brings you the best in personal development and productivity every day of the week. Your optimal life awaits. Now here's your host, Justin Mollick. Hello, Life Optimizers. Welcome to Optimal Living Daily, a podcast where I simply read to you from some of my, or the world's, favorite blogs. And I have a brand new author for you today. I'm super excited to introduce a new Wellness Wednesday blog, and that is Nerd Fitness. Steve Cam created Nerd Fitness back in 2009 after experimenting with exercising for six years, trying to figure out the best way to get results. He was sick and tired of other sites that spammed users about their supplements and really bad ads and decided to take it on himself, but marketing towards a less gym rat crowd and more of a beginner or nerd crowd. Needless to say, it took off and the site is one of the most popular fitness blogs out there. And Steve just launched a book, Level Up Your Life, which is a blueprint for prioritizing adventure, growth, and happiness by turning life into a giant video game. So check that out and his site, nerdfitness.com, for more info. I'm really happy that he's letting me bring you this content because I feel like it's a little more toned down than some other blogs that get really detailed and hard to understand, so I'm sure you'll enjoy it. But before I get into it, just a quick note that this podcast is ad-free and doesn't bring in any money from sponsors or from products and services since I don't have any, so I'm completely relying on patrons of the show like you. So if you'd like to help keep this podcast alive, which is currently losing money every month because of the cost to run a podcast and website, you can become a patron of the show by visiting oldpodcast.com. And while you're there, you can sign up for my weekly email newsletter, which comes with multiple gifts, plus automatic entries to win a book every month. You can also join that by texting the word optimal to the number 44222. And with that, let's hear from our newest author to join OLD and start optimizing your life. Why I Work Out by Steve Cam of nerdfitness.com. Okay, so I realized that I said blog posts would resume yesterday, and I lied. If you've been following my blogs over on the six-man website, my day job, you know that I just got off a cruise ship that really wore me down, and it took an extra day to recover. I posted a new blog over there today, so feel free to read. Essentially, I spent five days on a cruise ship with John Mayer, Guster, OAR, 12 other bands, and 2,900 music fans. I slept probably three hours a night and walked off that ship feeling like a zombie. Every time I tried to write for NF, my brain simply said, nope. After a day on the couch and many hours of television, I'm ready to write. I've put a lot of thought over the past few days into why I enjoy exercising. I'm absolutely fascinated with the concept of efficiency and operating at the highest level possible. If you decide to do something, you can either half it or you can go all out. When I started playing online poker years ago, I read probably a dozen books on poker and learn to remove emotion from my decision-making. If you can remove the, quote, gut feelings and, quote, revenge factor by playing like a well-oiled machine, you'll be far more successful and efficient than a guy who flies by the seat of his pants. I learned to play blackjack and craps the same way. After a year of screwing around in a casino while on vacations and throwing my money away, I read books on both and learned the proper way to play. Now I can teach anybody to play proper craps in 20 minutes. I might even write a blog about it someday. To me, exercising is no different. I'm always amazed at guys who can compete at a level beyond and beyond anybody else. Example, Makoto Nagano, pictured to the left, a fisherman from Japan who actually completed the Ninja Warrior Challenge. I realize most professional athletes are blessed with a great amount of innate ability, but it's the gifted athletes who still wake up at 6 a.m. in the gym pushing themselves to get better and better that grab my attention. The guys that eat right, determine the best possible way to get in shape, and then attack it with consistency and motivation day in, day out. Make sure you know who you want to be. I couldn't care less about the bodybuilders on steroids or the guys who can look at a dumbbell and get ripped. Those are rare cases that don't showcase how truly dedicated everybody else needs to be to operate at that level. I have so much more respect for the guys with slow metabolisms, or fast, who really have to work to stay in shape. Being healthy is a challenge and should give you a sense of satisfaction because you know how hard you had to work to get there. I have even more respect for the guys and girls who stay in shape while working full-time jobs and raising a family. There's always a million excuses to skip the gym, especially when time is limited. My heroes are the people who can overcome every excuse. For those of you struggling to lose weight, I can definitely relate. 
but from the opposite end of the spectrum. I'm one of the fortunate few blessed with a ridiculously fast metabolism. This means that I can't put on any kind of weight, whether it be muscle or fat. As a skinny guy trying to build muscle, I have to find a way to eat insane amounts of healthy calories every single day while exercising in order to see any sort of progress, which requires a lot of money and time, buying more food, preparing more food, eating more food, cleaning up afterward. I wish I could get away with eating 1,500 calories a day, but that would get me nowhere. I try to stick to this routine consistently, not because I want to impress people with how I look, but because I want to be the best damn person I can be. That means being the best person at my job, best volunteer at the hospital, best personal trainer to my clients, and best athlete for the sport in which I'm competing. If I'm playing the piano, I want to get better and better. If it's a competition, I want to be the best. Just like the Xbox Live leaderboard, there are ways you can compare yourself to others and ways to compete against yourself. Improvement. Complacency is dangerous. Always strive to be better, and you will get better. For those of you who play RPGs, it's like leveling up your character. There's always room for improvement. There's always one more thing you can do. To quote Gerard Butler, the actor who played King Leonidas in 300, quote, You know that every bead of sweat falling off your head, every weight you've pumped, the history of that is all in your eyes. That was a great thing to put on that cape and put on that helmet and not have to think, Shit, I should have trained more. Instead, I was standing there feeling like a lion. End quote. I want to work out because I want to feel like that. Why do you exercise? You just listened to the post titled Why I Work Out by Steve Cam of nerdfitness.com. And that was one of his older posts, which I like to do when first reading an author, so it kind of gives you an idea of where they started and gives a little background. If you want to hear more from Nerd Fitness, let me know. You can find me on Twitter at Old Podcast, or better yet, tag Steven at too, so he can see that you find his posts helpful. His Twitter handle is simply his name, Steve Cam, and Cam is spelled K-A-M-B. And once again, this show is completely free and loses money every month. So if you'd like to show your support, you can become a patron over at oldpodcast.com and I'll be extremely grateful. But if you can't support financially at this time, I totally understand. And a nice free way that you can show your support is to join my free weekly newsletter, which comes with some small life tips and a bunch of free gifts. You can sign up on the site, oldpodcast.com or text optimal to 44222. And that's 82 episodes down. I've really been liking the minimalist post lately, so I'm gonna bring some more for you tomorrow. And then I have a new author for Financial Friday, so stay tuned for that as well. And until then, your optimal life awaits. You've been listening to Optimal Living Daily. Be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on each new episode and head to oldpodcast.com. That's oldpodcast.com for a free gift as well as more actionable tips and resources to help you maximize your potential. Thanks for joining us. And remember, your optimal life awaits.